Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Well, I mean, I, I think um, if you look back in uh, both Stewie and Maya's interviews, um, we certainly had um, belief that this team could do it, um, and we persisted, maybe to a fault at times. Um, but uh, I think it's just a team that's just gained a little bit of confidence. Um, you, you can see it in their faces, they're enjoying playing. Um, and uh, a great weekend. They did exactly what was asked of them. Uh, four big points this weekend. I haven't been able to say that uh, many times this season, but it feels really good. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got to ride these waves and hopefully it continues on for the rest of the season. Uh, we're still the masters of our own fate here, so hopefully uh, we just continue to win hockey games and put pressure on these teams above us and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it was a big win last night, but this is arguably even bigger because it was, it was Hull. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a four point swing for us tonight. Um, we had those guys before tonight, we had them two more times uh, in the season. Um, and with three games in hand, um, I mean, that adds up to 10 points, which is what we're behind them. Um, so, I mean, hu huge, huge win for us tonight. I mean, you see that difference in the, in the guy's confidence, and I mean, confidence is everything in the world, and momentum, and um, scoring goals, which is something that's been our, been our nemesis all year. <laughs> been our nemesis all year, and you know what I mean? You can't you fail to score goals, it's tough to win hockey games, and I mean, we've been talking about it all year, and it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate it took us till till February to, to start gelling as a team and start figuring things out, but uh, you know what? we. What's done is done, and you know we've put ourselves in that position. But uh, all we can do is, like Dude says, and, and we've been saying, is uh, keep it, take one game at a time, and then just chip away when we can. Uh, obviously, with uh, playing Hull tonight, how big was it to, to play a team that we're trying to catch in the playoffs potentially? Yeah, huge. I mean, those those games are you know they're four point games, and um, we got a few games in hand on Hull. So whenever we can gain points on them without using up one of those games in hand, is it's a bonus. And um, it's one thing to have games in hand, though, but you got to win them. But uh, you know, I'm delighted for these guys. Uh, you know what, guys have been under scrutiny all season long. We've been hard on them. You know. We've tried every combination in the book, every type of PP and stuff like that. But uh, you know what? The PP is starting to score some goals now, and, and, and we're getting contributions from everybody. You know, we made those tweaks to the line about three weeks ago, and ever since then, we've just taken off. And uh, you know what? Everyone seems to be chipping in. You know, got a couple goals this weekend. You know, towards a couple of you know, assists, he played well. And um, you know, that rail, Lukasevich, Reber line has been playing great. And, um, we just rolled through everyone this weekend and it was good to see. The whole weekend has been a success for us. We needed four points out the weekend and um, obviously that's a four point swing on Hull tonight as well. So massive weekend for us. In terms of our kind of playoff hopes, how does uh, this weekend affect that? That's a big help obviously because the more points we gather and the closer we get to teams ahead of us and as I said, beating Hull team we're kind of chasing that's that's uh, very important I think over the course of the weekend um, Rail and Stewie uh, did a great job I mean those guys probably logged 60 minutes each um, we only went with two centermen this weekend um, and uh, you know they worked their asses off all weekend um, and it's tough like you know it's tough to when you're not accustomed to it but uh, by the end of the, the third here tonight, both of them wanted to be on the ice. They felt good, and uh, from a coaching perspective, that's great. Um, our D, um, for the most part, played pretty well. You know, it was it was our mistakes, you know, silly mistakes that that uh, have cost us in the past that that's, we still allowed those goals uh, to go in. Uh, certainly tonight. Um, but uh, they did a great job. So, like I said, just like last night, hard to pick out a man of the match. But uh, when when a team's playing like that, um, that's what you, you get. That you know, you don't have one guy just showing up. You have 10, 11, 12, 13 guys. How much is this team really enjoying their hockey just now? Why? When it makes the game easy, right? It uh, makes you want to come to the rink every day and um, for practices and games. And you know, showed up early today for the game and said to dudes, you know, it's the most excited I've, I've, I've been in a long time to come to the rink because, you know, you know, 
you're not fooling every anybody. You know, when we went through our slump at this, you know, around Christmas time there, and we were struggling to score goals, you come to the rink and in the back of your head, you know, you're trying to be positive, but you know, in the back of your head, you're thinking, man, what do we got to do to pull this off? You know, we need this guy, we need this guy to do something special. Now we don't need to do anything special. We just we're playing as a team, and we're getting contributions from everybody, and right, right from Reeks, right up, right up to the forward units. So, um, no, it's it's really fun when the team's gelling like this and scoring some goals and having some fun. And how do we kind of carry this confidence into the rest of the season? You just got to stay sharp. It's, uh, you know, I said to the guys today, it's one thing when you, you know, if, if we would have lost that game last night, we would have came tonight reared up, you know, oh, it's a must-win game. But, you know, when you have a great result like that last night and you win, sometimes it's tougher to stay stay motivated when you're winning. And, uh, you know, we just said, look, we got to stay sharp. We can't let this game slip away from us, um, go after these guys and, and dictate the game. And, you know, it's uh, you just got to stay sharp, and that that leads, you know, after tonight, you know, taking care of the bodies, and <clears throat> you know, going into practice next week with the same mentality, and, and and like you said, having fun. Gunny and uh, and Jamie Wilson have been, uh, you know, they're not in any of the special teams, so and and our games seem to have a lot of that lately. Um, so they get they sit for long periods of time, but uh, it's good for 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 Jamie's uh, and, and Gunny's confidence to get out there more and more. We need them to play. We need them. We need to roll three lines. We've always done that, and, and that's what we want to do. And I thought they were uh, a lot more confident with the puck tonight. Like if you've seen them in the corners, they were letting the puck do the work, and there was you know uh, some really nice passes out of those guys to to, to Danny and, and and Rail when he was on there. So yeah, I mean that's two goals and two nights for for Gunny. And uh, I thought they both played well. I mean, I think everyone realizes, realized, you know, we're really chasing things when we went so far behind. Um, and I don't know, just everyone seems a bit more relaxed and, um, you know, having a good, sort of, not, not a good laugh at training, but obviously taking it serious. But uh, just if you enjoy it more, then it makes everyone so much easier. Um, Shown on the ice at the moment in the games. Uh, your line as well, obviously, Gunny got a couple of goals this weekend, and you got assist tonight as well. Yeah. You guys playing well? Yeah. Um, I just, I think it's just down to hard work, basically. I mean, we're all three lines are just wearing teams down, so um, obviously hard work pays dividends. So you just have to keep that, keep that up in the upcoming weeks. Yeah, Bobby sh um, should be back uh, Wednesday. Um, he'll get a chance to skate with us Thursday and Friday and back in the lineup. And uh, I mean, the guys played great, uh, you know, without Bobby in the lineup this weekend. But that happens. I mean, if you if you look at any of the other uh, teams' uh, lineups, um, they put up great, great um, performances without some of their high performers in the lineup. But you know, over the course of the season. Um, you know, we want we want a guy like Bobby in our lineup every night. It's important to us. He's, you know, he's one of our best players, and uh, you know, he's got like 30 goals, and not many guys get that. You know, so um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting Bobby back too. But I obviously a player like Bobby is um, very dangerous in front of the net. So um, when he comes back, that's just going to add to our uh, offense that we've got at the moment. Just uh, finally, obviously, a oh, word for the fans tonight. You turned down good numbers this weekend. Definitely. I mean, after last night, the fans, the support was great. Um, went four goals down, and you know, it kind of went a bit quiet and things like that. But you know, we uh, clawed our way back into the game. Uh, the fans stuck worse, and as we got closer and closer to them, the fans got louder and louder, and that just pushes it on 100 percent. So, um, and tonight as well. It's just, and the support's great, so keep coming, keep helping us out. <laughs>